Hi guys, it is Friday, October 9th. I just got home. I was running errands all morning with my mom and Emily. We had a few stores to go to, so we had some shopping to do, and we went out to breakfast, so we had a really nice morning together, but now I am preparing for a Friday night movie night. We're watching Hocus Pocus tonight with a couple of friends, so I'm really excited about that. You guys know how obsessed I am with Hocus Pocus. I'm wearing one of the shirts <laughs> today. And we actually saw it in the movies a week ago this Friday. So this is going to be my second Friday in a row watching Hocus Pocus. But all through October, we like to do these fun Halloween themed movie nights. And I'm excited for Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I picked up at Walmart. I have some treats that I'm going to be making. And I think it'll be fun to bring you guys along today. Okay, here's everything that I just picked up from Walmart. We have some of the Halloween-themed Pillsbury cookies. We have some Malamars, Swiss Miss hot chocolate, and look at these containers that they have now. They are pantry-friendly. What are they calling them? New Easy Grip Canisters. I really like these. I have a whole bunch of chips. These cups are perfect for Hocus Pocus because if you remember the scene where they're drinking apple cider out of the orange cardboard cups with the jack-o'-lantern faces. So it kind of matches that, which I thought was cool. I have some Halloween themed napkins and some cake plates. And then I just picked up some cereal for breakfast. Popcorn, a couple of different kinds, applesauce, Tostitos with salsa, and I am going to be making some creepy cupcakes for tonight as well. And I'll show that to you guys in just a little bit. I'm going to be baking those. So small little Walmart haul, just some things for our upcoming movie nights that we'll be having quite often in the next couple of weeks. The cupcakes are done and I just washed out these three guys because I thought they would make really cute popcorn buckets. It is already four o'clock at night and I've spent the last couple of hours just cleaning and baking and just getting ready for our movie night. So I really need to take a break because I actually forgot to take lunch today. Since we had such a late breakfast, I wasn't even thinking of it and I was so busy that I never ate. So I think I'm gonna just take a break. I still have to mop the back house, which is like our detached garage where we had Madison's birthday party is where we're doing our movie night. And I just vacuumed back there and cleaned up a bit, but I really need to mop the floor and it's a pretty big room. I need to mop the kitchen and then I need to get dinner ready. So I think I'm just gonna take a breather for a little while and make myself a snack and relax. I'm just having some Scooby snacks with peanut butter and I started reading this last night, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. This is so good and my favorite part, I didn't get too far yet, but the introductory or the introduction, I don't know what to call it, but this very first page, I love everything it says and I can totally relate to it living in an old home. So love it, really good. Also, I did my nails last night. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of spooky and witchy looking. It's like purple with sparkles. It's not really focusing well, but they're super cool. And of course I have my witchy socks on. <laughs> Figured I'd show you guys that. I love all of my Halloween socks. I thought I'd show you my progress so far. So if you guys watched my Harry Potter <laughs> birthday party, it's we're like in a transitional phase right now because I still have some of the Harry Potter stuff out. But I changed up the room a little bit. I moved around the furniture so that we could all be facing the TV. Sorry for my crazy dog barking outside, but <laughs> just something I have to deal with right now. Um, I have these cups all set up by the kegerator. We have an Oktoberfest beer on tap right now. And I took all of the candles. If you guys remember, I had all of the candles hanging from the ceiling last week. I put them in these old candelabras because I thought that would look pretty cool. And then here's all of my cupcakes. I'm going to put them on these two Halloween themed plates with the spiders on it. 
And then I also have, oh my gosh, these dogs. Leo, what? <laughs> Is Chester driving you crazy? All right, we gotta deal with this. We gotta deal with these dogs. Chester, come on. Okay, where were we? <laughs> All right, so I have drinks set up over here. These are kid-friendly drinks, and then I have my plates and my Halloween napkins, the candelabras, that's what I was talking about. So these are already ready to go. I have the batteries inside, so I just have to turn them all on. And I just thought that would be fun to have those lit up. And I have all my little, little hocus pocus decorations. So I have my little spell book here and I have some snacks out for the kids and for the adults actually. And then over here, I just have stuff set up for chips and popcorn buckets what else and then over here i still have kind of a harry potter theme going on but i left out whatever random candy i had laying around from our last party last weekend and some malamars some candy corn and we have some other treats coming i wanted to show you guys this cool ring that i found in my jewelry box too the camera's not focusing today there we go this cool like little spider ring super cute now you can see my witchy nails <laughs> so all ready for hocus pocus i want to do hot apple cider and i'm wondering if i can use my contraption here that heats up tea and heat up the apple cider so i don't know i'm gonna try it i think it should work i mean all it does really is boil water so i don't see why it wouldn't work also set up this tray we're gonna do cheese crackers and pepperoni on my favorite Halloween tray here it's so cute and I am heating up in the microwave a big bowl of pulled pork I have some string beans and some hot dogs and that's gonna be dinner I'm just keeping it really simple tonight and that's gonna be dinner <laughs> So we are ready to have our movie night. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the prep and all of the treats that we made for our movie night. And I'm excited to watch Hocus Pocus again. <laughs> and I think I'm going to be doing a few more movie nights this month for sure because it's been so much fun. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Hey guys, it is Saturday. Our Hocus Pocus movie night went really well. Unfortunately, only two of my 24 cupcakes were eaten and they were so cute. So I'm actually freezing them for Halloween. I, I hope that it works. I think you can freeze cupcakes. You guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried to do that before. But I had 22 left and you guys saw how cute they were. So <laughs> I'm hoping I can use them at another time. So today we have been really busy. I don't know that I've ever mentioned this before on my channel, not really for any particular reason, but our family is partnered with another family in the ownership of a photo booth. So when you guys see the photo booth that we use for a lot of our parties, we own that and we rent it out for weddings and birthday parties and graduations and all of that good stuff. Sometimes we can get people to run it for us. We have lots of teenage kids <laughs> and other friends and people who are just looking to make a little bit of extra money and they like to run it. But there are also times where me and Jim run it and today is one of those times. So my hairdresser is getting married today on a farm and we are going to be working in the photo booth. So we spent a good part of the day today over at the farm setting it up. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. We actually stopped at Applebee's for lunch and now we're home. So I have some cleanup to do around here, just dishes and laundry and stuff to clean up on. I have about, and things to clean up on? <laughs> what does that even mean? Anyway. <laughs> It's just been so busy lately, so it's just it's hard for me to focus when I have so many things going on, but 
I am going to take a little bit of a break now because we have to go back to the farm and run the event and it's probably going to be until late tonight and it's cold out. I just put this big heavy fleece on. I'm trying to figure out what the heck to wear because I do need to dress nice because it's a wedding but at the same time since we're in a tent and it's outside I want to be warm and I want to be comfortable but I also have to wear something kind of dressy so I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. I might just wear a black dress and heels. The heels are going to be a challenge. We'll see. But anyway, I am going to take a little bit of a break now and I'll catch up with you guys later. So I think one of the reasons that nobody ate my cupcakes was because our friends who came over made this, it's called a whoopie pie, but it's a whoopie pumpkin pie, I think. I don't know. It's like pumpkin bread with cream cheese, sweet icing type of filling, and it's just so good. So we had a few of those left over from last night. I'm going to eat one now, and I'm going to read for a little bit, and then we'll be getting ready to head back out. True story. Just put on my sunglasses to read. <laughs> I really am losing it, guys. I am losing my mind. All right, so I'm just about ready to go. This is what I'm wearing. I don't know if these shoes are really too casual for this particular outfit, but I also need to be comfortable because I'm not going to be sitting at a table relaxing. I'm going to be working. So I still need to straighten my hair. I'm just letting it kind of air dry. And I'm just wearing a basic black dress with these lace bell sleeves. And hopefully I stay warm enough. I also have... And then I also have this silver scarf shawl contraption that I can wear in case it gets too cold out. Hey guys, it is Sunday and the wedding last night was so beautiful. Like I said, it was on a farm and the atmosphere was just gorgeous, especially now this time of year with the leaves changing color. And at night they had a big bonfire outside and it was under a tent and it was just so nicely done. As much work as this photo booth thing is, it is actually a fun job because it's all good vibes. You're at a wedding and people are happy and dancing and drinking and just having a great time. So it's such good vibes that it does put you in a good mood, but we got home pretty late and I was so tired this morning and I was thinking I am going to just take the day off. and. This morning I just, I saw all the dishes piling up and all the laundry and I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing it. I'm just not gonna do it. But now it's a little bit later in the day and I realize I'm only hurting myself by not doing it and putting it off until tomorrow because tomorrow it's gonna be twice the amount of work. So I might actually have to break down and do something today but if I do it's gonna be minimal because I really, just feel myself getting to the point where I need a break. You know when you're just feeling so overwhelmed by everything and you feel so tired, like I've just been so incredibly tired lately and I feel so worn down and I'm realizing it's because I never really give myself a break. And Sunday is the day that if I can possibly do it, I like to try to relax a little bit and just not do a lot of stuff. So. We're working on that. That's a work in progress for me. Emily is still home from college. I don't know if you remembered, I told you earlier. Did I tell you in this vlog or the previous one? I think it was the previous vlog. Her roommate was worried that she might have gotten COVID, so she did get tested and she is okay. So <laughs> Emily is going to be headed back to campus tonight. And we just got back from Target. We did a little bit of Halloween shopping. I like to put together little things for my kids for Halloween and Madison was putting together something for a friend of hers and Emily was putting together a little thing for her boyfriend. So we did some Halloween shopping this morning. Obviously, since I was with the girls, I got stuff for Patrick for Halloween. I don't know, is that crazy? Does anyone do this? I'm just so Halloween obsessed that it's something I've done since my kids were really little. And I just, I mean, I don't spend a ton of money, but I just like to put together a little something for them for Halloween. It's just what I do. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling on and on. So I am going to get some stuff done and I'll talk to you guys later. So I'm trying to show you guys this and Princess <laughs> keeps walking back and forth over it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're too much princess. Anyway, I got this in the mail yesterday. I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys on Friday. I'm so excited. I've never 
gotten anything from Once Upon a Bookcase and I'm not even sure of exactly all that is in here. So I'm super excited to open this up and do an unboxing. It's going to be Halloween themed. I have two things from this company coming this month. This is one of them and the other one I think is going to come later in the month. And they're both like Halloween themed and I'm super excited about it. And <laughs> life of a YouTuber, I can't open it yet because I'm not ready to film it, but I'm anxious to open it. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow and I'll film that for you guys. Addison's gonna show you guys the basket that she put together for her friend. So it's this teal jack-o'-lantern bag. 99 basket. cents at Target. Yep. <laughs> We got two LaCroix over here because it's her favorite drink of all time. The watermelon LaCroix. Can I yeah. pull it out to show or you don't want to mess no, up your mess beautiful up. display? Okay. I'll pull out my stuff Cheese it. Thanks, Sam. So. favorite snack. Okay. Then we got milk chocolate M&Ms mm -hmm. and the ghouls mix M&Ms. The ghouls mix. Nice. Then we also got some gum and then we're going to get um, gummy snakes. Gummy snakes? Nice. That is going to be such a special gift for your friend. And now we're going to see Emily's that she put together for her boyfriend. And I spent more money than mom knows, so she might yell at me. Oh no, there's things I don't know about in here. <laughs> Goldfish. Uh-huh. Sour Patch. Watermelon. Oops, they got dented. Cute. And this is all Reese's candy. Nice. Happy socks. They're Halloween socks. Those are cute socks. I really like the socks. Right? Gatorade. Mm-hmm. Flaming Hot Cheetos, bag of bones. <laughs> nice. And what is this? This is the thing I don't know about. Yeah. So he just got a new room. So oh. it's a Miami Heat tapestry for his. Oh, oh it's right. backwards. Is that like his favorite team? Yeah. Miami Heat. Is that his basketball? Whole, yeah, his whole room is Miami Heat themed. So I oh, nice. Tapestry. It's like a tapestry. Yeah. That is really nice. Thank you. Good job, Emily. Thank you. And then there's this filler. What is this called? Garland. 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 <laughs> we just got garland from the dollar store and filled it up to make it more festive and cute. Nice job. Great ideas. This is a big mistake that I make every year. I buy, I buy the Halloween candy too soon and especially Reese's peanut butter cups. You know these aren't going to last for very long and especially the pumpkin ones. They're so good. I feel like when they make the seasonal candy, it's just so much more fresh and oh, just love it. Yeah. Oh, these are different flavors. I didn't even realize that. They have white ghosts. Oh, so cute. I am so going to be digging into this bag. <laughs> this is exciting news. Look at what we finally got fixed around here. You guys have probably been seeing that open since March, maybe, but we finally got a new door. So it's a big deal. Very excited about that. Well, that's going to do it for this weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along. Sorry that it was rather rushed, but we were just really busy and had a lot of stuff going on. But we're actually going to go grab some dinner right now, and hopefully I can get to uploading and editing this video later tonight, if not very early tomorrow morning, so I can get it up for you guys in time for seven. Fingers crossed. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.